All right, so before I begin, I wanna clarify a couple things. Um, so you have five school days to complete an assignment. That is still true, but, and by school days, I mean like Monday through Friday days because you don't have five school days when we get back to school. Like they need to be done um, in five days. So that, what that means is like last Wednesday's assignment is due today, this Wednesday, because you have Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, it's due tonight. Um, if you just upload your notes from a video, I will count you present, but then you will still fail my class. If you don't do the worksheet I assigned, you're going to get an F. If you do it, you will get an A. If you do it and I, like, you're obviously have watched the video and you have, and you obviously know what you're doing, you will get an A. Um, I'm putting in grades and changing them all the time. If you have an F right now, it's because you haven't done something. Yes, you have five days to complete it, but I'm still putting it in so that you can track yourself and you know what you've done and what you haven't done. Um, so F means you're missing something, essentially. Okay. Um, moving on. So today we're going to deal with compound events with an or statement instead of an and statement like we did on Monday. Just remember, you can convert things to fractions really nicely. You can add fractions over here. And then if you press this button right there, it'll convert things to fractions for you in their simplest form, which is really nice. I do want to talk about a couple problems from the past three days because you have a quiz on Wednesday. I mean on Friday. All right. Um, so a couple, op, uh, this one, this problem from the very first worksheet from last Wednesday was probably the most missed problem. Um, and it is a difficult problem to understand, but I wouldn't want to talk about it. So the probability that a sum of five is rolled. So a sum of five would mean that I'm adding two numbers together to get five. So that would be like one and four, zero, five, two and three, and so on. Um, okay. And um, before we can actually figure that out, you need to write out your sample space. You need to write out the possible outcomes. So a sample space, if you're rolling standard dice one time, okay, and I'm rolling them at the same time, one time. <clears throat> I can roll a one and a one. I can roll a run and a two, a one and a three, one and a four, one, five, one, six. When I get to the twos, notice it's smaller because I can roll a two and a two. I can't, if I say I can roll a two and a one, that's the same as a one and a two. Okay, those outcomes are exactly the same. Um, and so it doesn't, you can't write two and one again. So I can do a two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, three, 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 four, three, five, two, six, and so on. Okay, so then I add these up and I get 21. So there are 21 total outcomes. And the only ones that add up to 5 are 1 and 4 and 2 and 3. So that's 2 out of 21. If I could simplify that, I would, but I cannot. And so that, I think, is 50, just kidding, is 9.5%. All right. So that's the percentage of getting that. All right, um, next, finding the number of possible outcomes. You just multiply the possible outcomes. I don't know why this one was missed a lot, but if I have one die, that is six outcomes there, okay? And I have one card from 52 cards times 52, and I get 312. So that's the total number of possible outcomes for that situation. Lastly, we're going to talk about compound and. So this is... We're doing or today, but we did and on Monday. So um, when something is not replaced and it is a dependent event, it is a little bit complicated. Not really, but it just is a little bit diff more difficult. So the probability of getting a blue right here is 6 out of 10. Okay, there are 6 blue. There are 10 total. 3 plus 6 plus 1 is 10. It's and, so I'm going to multiply. And then the probability of getting another blue, because this is not replaced. They're chosen one at a time and not replaced. So the probability of getting another blue 
would be five out of nine because there were six blue marbles. I took one out and now there's five, which means that my total is nine. So six out of 10 times five out of nine. Okay, and that equals one third when I simplify it, which is 33.3%. Right, so that recaps the past three days. Um, again, you have a quiz on Friday and the Quiz Friday will be for an actual grade, not just a pass or fail grade or complete incomplete grade. Um, so if you have questions, you really need to ask them so that you know what you're doing. All right, so probability with an or statement. The biggest difference or the difference between or and and is with or we add, okay? With and we multiplied or we add. Right? And with or statements, you don't have to worry if something is being replaced or not. You're picking it one time at the same time, and that's it. So we're rolling a six-sided die one time. What's the prob probability you roll a two or a five? So we just take this one at a time. So the probability of rolling a two is one out of six. There is one two, there are six total. The probability of rolling a five is also one out of six. There is one five, and there are six total numbers. And because it's or, I'm going to add together. So one six plus one sixth is two sixths, because common denominator. Also, if you need to put that in your calculator, put in your calculator. Which equals one third, which is 33.3%. When you are doing this, you can either type your answers in or write them down on a piece of paper, that's fine. But you need to show these two fractions that you're adding together. You need to show the simplified fraction and the um, percentage. If you don't show this middle step, that's okay. But some people are just giving me like, they're saying that this is four out of 16 or something. And I'm like, how do you get that answer? Cause that's not even close to being correct. All right? Okay, let's try another one. Also, these are on your worksheet, so I would take very good notes. So using two spinners, find each compound probability. Probability of an A or two. So for the probability of A, I gotta look at this one. All right, and the probability of getting an A is one out of four. The probability of getting a two, I look at this one. Probability of getting two is two out of six. There are two, um, there are two twos and there are six total spaces. And then I'm adding them together. And because they are not a common denominator, you need to either find a common denominator, which you can figure out if you want, or you can put it, put it in the calculator um, so that you get a good answer. All right, so the probability of that simplified is 7 twelfths, which cannot be simplified anymore. And that is 58.3%. All right. So again, I know it says that two tiles are drawn from the same and the first tile is replaced before the second tile is drawn. That's not actually true when we're dealing with or, so you can ignore that. Okay. Um, so the probability of getting an A is 2 out of 15. There are two A tiles. There are 15 total tiles. The probability of getting an E is 4 out of 15. Again, I add them together. I get 6 out of 15, which simplifies to 2 fifths, which is 40%. So again, you need both of those and the fractions that you're adding together. Okay, the only part that makes or a little bit challenging is um, overlapping numbers or cards or colors or whatever. So a card is randomly selected from a deck of 52 cards. So here's a deck of cards, All right? We're not including jokers. So what's the probability of getting a face card or red? So we're gonna start with the first one and the first one is will never, the first one will always be the actual probability of that. So if I look here, my face cards are right here. Okay, Jack, Queen, King, Jack, Queen, King, Jack, Queen, King, Jack, Queen, King. So there are 12 face cards. 
and there are 52 total cards. Okay, then it says or, so I'm gonna add. So probability of getting a red. So normally, there would, these are all red and these are all red. Okay, and if I count them up, there are 13 of each red, so there are 26 total red. However, we cannot have overlapping numbers or we're gonna skew our probability. So for the first probability, I've already used these face cards. So when I'm dealing with red, I cannot use these face cards anymore. Okay, so what's highlighted right now is the only numbers that I'm gonna use for the probability of getting a red because I've already found the probability of getting a red face card. All right, so I'm just gonna add up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 plus 10 is 20. Okay, or I took 26, which is the total amount of red, and subtracted these six face cards. So plus 20 out of 52. I add that together, it's 32 out of 52, which is eight out of 13, which I don't remember what that percent is right now, so give me one second. Sixty one point five percent. And that makes sense because um, we have like it should be over half should be over 50 percent because I'm using up all the red cards plus some face cards, which is over half the deck. OK, lastly, same thing with overlap. I roll a fair die. What's the probability of a four or even? So we've done dies a lot, so the probability of four is one out of six. There is one four, there are six total. The probability of getting an even number, all right? Um, so normally even numbers on a die are two, four, six. I've already found the probability of four, so I do not use that, all right? So there are two options here. So I'm gonna add two out of six. All right, and that gives me three out of six, which is one half, which is 50%. Okay, you need to go finish and do the worksheet. <laughs> if you have any questions, any at all, please ask them and I will um, help you the best that I can. We can talk on conferences, we can talk on Zoom, we can just email, I don't care, but please ask if you need help. Also, if you're behind on doing your work, you need to get that all caught up because right now a lot of you have Fs in my class and that's not good, okay? You're getting behind for being um, in high school next year. Have a great day. Talk to you later.